Hello and welcome to an interview of Toastmasters from District 76. I'm very happy to welcome Toastmaster Kazuko Kawauchi to the show today. Welcome Kazuko. Thank you very much Chris for having me here today. It's our pleasure. Tell us how long you've been a Toastmaster. I have been a Toastmaster for the last 17 years. I wanted to mitigate my public speaking fear. I worked for a U.S. company, and the company promoted me to a small section of corporate communication as a head. I was responsible for presiding a press conference by inviting major media reporters. I was so scared because I didn't have any confidence at all to reply to the challenging questions from the professional veteran experience reporters. For all managers meeting, all employees meeting, I was the MC to introduce some executive from the home office in the United States. I felt comfortable. At that time, I felt, well, Toastmaster helped me a lot. Toastmaster is a place that everybody should come and learn public speaking. That was Leadership Toastmasters Club near Korakuen. I decided to join the club because members were friendly and cozy. I started my event company. I can carry out the business using the skills and a social network the Toastmaster has provided me. The one year before I took the office as district governor, the greatest earthquake and tsunami occurred in the northern part of Japan. Clubs in Tokyo and Chiba were severely affected due to continuously planned blackouts and aftershocks continued. So members left and renewal looked gloomy. Some clubs suspended their activity for a while, for two months or three months. I tried to encourage clubs, send message to members in Japan. This is a very good opportunity to show the resilience to the world. Enjoyable time to see members. I went to the place severely damaged by the earthquake and the tsunami. And, but still the members, family members or, or some relatives were missing. But members got together and mutually encouraged themselves. And sometimes they smiled. And when I saw that, that scenery, I felt, wow, they decided to walk toward the future, even though there's a hardship waiting. At that time, I was overwhelmed with Toastmasters. When I was district governor, we began communication and leadership award to invite and present award to those who showed and demonstrate leadership and great communication. In that time, after the terrible earthquake, Dr. Donald King, an American-born scholar and translation for Japanese novels. He decided to move to Japan permanently to encourage us. At that time, many foreigners left for their country. We trios decided the short list of invitees, the very possible candidates, and finally the DCM decided to invite Dr. Donald, at that time, he was about 96 or 97. We went to their house and persuaded his secretary. In that time, I felt very good and very memorable time because Dr. Donald King was very, very famous in Japan. I was so happy. We invited him to this 2012 full conference. Some Toastmasters cried with excitement when he stood on the stage. Toastmaster is a lifelong training hall. 
which I said in Japanese, Jinsei Dojo. Even though you have a champion title, you should come back and practice. The beginners continue to study at Toastmasters Club. It's very fun and very cozy. You don't have to worry about anything at all. Just speak and enjoy speaking and practice. Toastmaster is the best place I've ever attended. I attended some other training school, but it is only for 13 weeks or 15 weeks. After the course was over, nothing left. Toastmaster, we can come and study for a long time. It's up to you how long you will be as a Toastmaster. This is a great benefit. My goal is to be a finalist of District 76 contest someday in the future. I always listen to the champion's speeches last year and this year, including Russ. Everybody should consider it about the messages, if it is universal or local. That's very important. See you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.